everybody. Welcome to Football Friday. Berkeley Prep cheerleaders joining us in the studio tonight. I'm Chris Field. They've been playing tic-tac-toe with the X's and O's. Somebody's got to win somewhere <laughs> along the line. I don't know what's going on there. He didn't know about the streak. What's uh, your response to that? We want to I'm very coachable. You are very coachable. <laughs> it feels poetic from your perspective against the Yankees. The Red Sox are out of it. It's just, it's, it's quite a moment. Yeah, I know I won a couple championships and stuff, but this is special. So the celebration continues, and this franchise takes it back to Texas, the team that eliminated them last year from the playoffs. The Rays' crazy clubhouse, Chris Field, Fox 13 Sports. Woo! <laughs> Hello again from the St. Pete Times Forum. I'm Chris Field outside on the plaza where the party continues. And Lightning fans hope this party continues into the Stanley Cup Finals. The Bolts take game six, tying these Eastern Conference Finals up. Three games, all the series goes back to Boston for the deciding game seven. Now imagine being 11 or 12 years old, transferring to a middle school where you can't even speak the language. Intimidating, right? Terrifying even. Then think about the group of guys that immediately appears at your side like a shield through one of the most significant transitions you'll ever go through. That's the exact experience for a group of football players at Admiral Farragut Academy. Duke Chan Jun could not speak English. He did not understand the language when he arrived at Admiral Farragut Academy five years ago from South Korea. Teammates also call him Panda, but big number 72, the Blue Jacket Center, prefers Jonathan the American name his mother gave him when he arrived in St. Petersburg. He didn't know how to put on pads or cleats, let alone how to play, but joining the football team changed Juke Chan's, Jonathan's life. I would not have a friend without football. Yeah. I play football because I want to get a friends, and now I have a lot of friends. That, my teammates are all friends. If I didn't play football, I would not have a friends or no fun. Sounds like they're friends for life. Yeah, they're my family. Jonathan's roommate back in the day, Novisa Petrusic. Now the senior from Peruvia and Serbia helps another new player, Sebastian Pescador. Sebastian came to Florida from Mexico just a short time ago. Like one month. He too learns English and this sport simultaneously. Sebastian, what do you like about football? Mm, I don't know, maybe. He says uh, all the problems he has during the day, all the built up anger, he can just let it out on the football field. <laughs> <laughs> now more than ever, playing high school football really is part of the American experience. For about a half dozen international kids at Admiral Farragut, playing high school football is the passageway to America. Jonathan June, South Korea. Sebastian Pescador, Mexico. Jonathan and Sebastian from different corners of the globe come together as members of this diverse yet tight-knit Admiral Farragut team. Louis Bobelis from Lithuania. Novisa Petrusic, Peruvian and Serbian. Christian Alonso, Philippines. Dylan Richards, Saudi Arabia. You do your job because of your family. Uh, other people depend on you and you depend on them. So just never give up and they won't give up on you. You better play some ball. They do not give up this afternoon. There's Jonathan June with Admiral Farragut as the Blue Jackets travel to Tampa, taking on Carol Wood Day. Just a shootout between these two three and one teams. Wild second quarter in this one. Admiral Farragut down 22 7, but Napoleon Maxwell changes that with the touchdown run. The Patriots answer. Carol Wood Day's Robert Davis takes off. He does not stop. That is one long 52 yard touchdown run. 28 14, Patriots. Admiral Farragut answers right back. Maxwell fumbles, but the ball bounces right back to him. Check that out. He scores. 28-21, Patriots. Still in the second, Admiral Farragut with the ball, and that's Todd Macon. He turns on the Jets for the score. Point after no good. 28-27, Carrollwood Day still leads. After another touchdown by Admiral Farragut, Robert Davis answers. Returns this kickoff just about as far as you can. 99 yards for the score, yes? He takes it all the way back. 40 points combined just in the second quarter. And this is a shootout, a combined 90 points for these teams. Admiral Farragut does stick together. They do win this thriller. 49, 41, the final. The Bucks, double digit underdogs against the Falcons this afternoon. That's how far this team has fallen. Double digit underdogs to a team the Bucks beat the last Sunday of September. The Bucks losers of nine straight now by an average of 16 points a loss. Kevin O'Donnell tells us in this morning's game breakdown, the Bucks keep crashing on course for an unwanted franchise label worst in team history. 
The Bucks are one loss away from matching the worst finish in franchise history. Kevin O'Donnell, Fox 13 Sports. First of all, Ricky was on one of those teams. 1989. Well, 89, 89, 89, yeah. But one more Just time. All right, you want to tell anybody. <laughs> if the Bucks give up 24 points or more to the Falcons this afternoon, they will have given up more points than any other Bucks team. Can you believe that? Wow. It's, and, and, you know, defense is a staple. It's a standard with this franchise. Does the Buck stop with Raheem Morris? How much of this is his fault? And number one rule in leadership, everything is your fault. Finally now on our Tailgate Sunday finale, Jorge and Ricky make their most convincing arguments yet. Should Raheem Morris be fired as, as soon as tonight, this week? Should he be fired? Period. Ricky, should Raheem Morris go? Of course you start off with me. Because well. <laughs> I think as a defense coordinator, it's not good enough. And Rondé Barber has said that he too would be, he'd be gone. He would retire if Raheem Morris was fired. So there's that to take into consideration as well. But we do expect Raheem Morris to be fired. Yes or no? Well, Jorge didn't answer the question. I, 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 <laughs> You're not getting out of this. No, 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 I, <laughs> We're going to have to wrap it. I think there was a yes. And we're going to thank you all for joining us, Jorge and Ricky. A tremendous job all season long. They make even a losing season interesting and entertaining. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day. We'll see you back here tonight. Three-time All-Star Evan Longoria, the face of the Rays. He appears in national commercials. Fans know his every stat. But you might not know what he likes to hit before games. Check out what's recently become a critical part of Longo's routine in this story you'll only see on Fox 13. Evan Longoria, gold glove and silver slugger winner. There's a shot deep in the center. The 24-year-old takes Tampa Bay and Major League Baseball by storm. That's not my cap. The Rays' third baseman shows star power off the field, too. Senior prom for senior citizens. Ultimately, Evan Longoria just likes to hit things. High fly ball, well hit. Especially at Tropicana Field. Long before official team warm-ups happen on the field, you can hear Evan Longoria warming up in here in this equipment room on the drums. Longoria listens to music on his iPod and plays along. Teammates hear this. Evan hears Tom Petty. Can't even tell how it sounds. Yeah. Sound good? Yeah. Teammates hear this. While Evan plays along to Kid Rock. So has Longo broken more bats or drumsticks? I've used the same pair of drumsticks the whole time. It's hard to break them on here. Why do I do it? Um, it's a good release for me. I mean, I just come back here usually by myself without, without the cameras. It's good. I mean, I can just relax, listen to the music, and not think about anything. Self-taught, he can be self-conscious like we never see. Well, all right, I'm nervous now. Tantric's electric violin makes opposing pitchers nervous. That's Evan's walk-up song, but no way would he drum with his favorite group or any group. I mean, I was barely comfortable enough doing it for you guys, you know, on, on the camera. Um, so there's no way I could do it um, with, with a bunch of people here. No way. You have one talent. One talent. Play baseball. <laughs> Evan Longoria did start the trend, pant legs up for day games, but his haircut might not be the next Ray Hawk. I like to call it a fashion mullet. <laughs> it's a semi mullet. It's a yeah. It's yeah, I just got a cut too, so it probably probably looks kind of good. Oh, it does. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> or bad, you know. <laughs> so the ladies want to know. Oh, great. You're an all star, potential rock star. Do you have a special? Pre-game routine? <laughs> Special someone? Um, no, 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 no. I'm uh, I'm single. <laughs> as far as the routine goes, I got all kinds of routines. It's become routine to see Evan Longoria represent the Rays. It's pretty cool, you know. It's it, I've been very fortunate in these you know the three years that I've been here. So you are like a rock star. I'm lucky. <laughs> Evan does pick up drumming tips from YouTube. Former Ray Greg Zahn got Evan hooked last year on his drum kit, and now Evan has his own. It does not travel. Stays in that storage room. In the last couple of days of a road trip, Evan is itching 
to get back in that equipment room and hit. Ah. He just loves to hit things. I could understand. Yes. Lucky and talented. Very yes. talented. He is. You Not bad on the drums. That probing question you worked <laughs> in there. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. yeah. Nice Way job. to go. Yeah. <laughs> He's very single. <laughs> Zach Rayley won silver in the 2008 Summer Olympics, but it was bittersweet. Sister Paige, long ranked among the top sailors in the world, failed to make the team. To have it come around the way it has this time and for both of us to qualify, it, it does make it a lot sweeter. Paige realizes the worst has already happened. She could dwell on that or turn it into the best thing that ever happened to her sailing career. I always go out thinking I have a thousand opportunities to win this race, win this competition before I cross the finish line, and I'm not going to think about the what ifs. Zach and Paige have their similar yet different training regimens out on the water, in the gym, and then there's the mental part of all this. Zach has his superstitions. For Paige, it's Buddhism. Instead of feeling nervous and trying to compress the feelings, I bring the emotion up, I accept the emotion. And I say to myself, I'm A, I'm either going to sit here and dwell in these nerves and let it affect me, or I'm just going to treat it as a cloud and just keep letting it pass me by. I sail with a University of Miami hat. It's no exceptions. I had a song that I listened to. What is it? No one knows what it is. During the competition, I won't shave my face. And, but the night before the final race, which is the medal race on the last day, uh, I'll shave before the medal race. Because you want to be ready for your pictures. want to be ready for the pictures on the podium. The Rayleigh siblings cannot wait to make supporters back home proud. Paige visualizes the moment, celebrating winning gold. What do I want to do? A Hussein Bolt or a, <laughs> you know, a Tebow? Or like, <laughs> I want to have a Paige Rayleigh move. Like, what is it, this? Or <laughs> Don't capsize. <laughs> Zach tries not to daydream. I try to bring myself back to reality and say, okay, what can I do today? that's going to bring me one step closer to that goal. In Clearwater, Chris Field, Fox 13 Sports. Fox 13 Sports! Yay! I love sports. I think it's important for kids to be involved in team sports at a young age. I started playing basketball when I was 10, played high school, college ball. Slow down, wait for your teammates. These kids are good, and they're going to be really good. It doesn't get any better than this. Fox 13's Chris Field. She doesn't just cover sports, she lives it.